Good morning everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing what I eat in a day video. I wanted to share with you guys some of the foods that I've been eating in the past few days. I've been reading up a lot on the Ketotarian Diet as well as Get Off Your Acid by Dr. Jared Goffrey and I wanted to show you guys how I incorporate some of their logic, their knowledge into my diet. Here are some of the things that I picked up. I got two of these huge 64 ounce mason jars from Target. Highly recommend getting them from Target versus Amazon. These were $6.99 on Amazon. They were $12.99 and they're gigantic. I also picked up a glass straw set from Amazon as well as these nut milk bags. So I plan on making green juice in one of these and oat milk in one of these. Now, oat milk is not part of the ketotarian lifestyle. It's technically a mild to moderate acidic as well for if you're looking over your acids, but I'm allergic to nuts, so I can't have almond milk. I can't have macadamia nut milk, cashew, anything, and I don't love hemp seeds. So we're gonna just do the oat, and I only use it in a matcha latte, so it's not super detrimental. So for breakfast, I've been having a green smoothie, and I usually make a full batch um, and then I'll take half of it and drink half of it and add some water to it. The reason why is that this recipe has a ton of fiber, vitamin C, potassium, but almost too much so that if you're taking a multivitamin with it, it can cause a lot of indigestion and upset stomach and you know, all that fun stuff. So I do have just to get my body used to it and incorporate it and if I do have a stomach ache, I take a Mary Ruth's digestive food enzyme. It really helps break down the fiber in the smoothie and because there's, you know, celery, spinach, romaine, etc., it's a lot to break down on your body, especially if your body's not used to it. But it is so delicious. I will leave the recipe below. I just got done doing some Pilates. We just did like an at-home Pilates workout. I like to do a Pilates workout on non-gym days just to give my body, you know, some movement because I sit all day and I just finished making some lunch so I made some cod with roasted Japanese sweet potatoes and zucchini pretty boring and plain but it'll keep me full and then I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I take my lunch break one of my favorite ketotarian snacks are these olives again Jennifer Fisher she got me on them they are you know clean organic and they come in a jar they are not pitted but I find there's a lot more flavor in them because they are not pitted. So these are just some green olives. It's a mix of pitted and not pitted. The not pitted ones are not on the list. I just have them in the fridge, so I need to use them up. And then I cut up some Kerrygold cheese. All right, you guys, I'm back home from my hot girl walk. I walked almost four miles to go to Target, which was a lot for me, but worth it because I picked up these dinner plates. They don't ship them for whatever reason, so I had to go pick them up and they are gorgeous. I actually bought them for my friend Polly for a housewarming and I was like, I love those, but let's show dinner. So here's dinner and I realize it looks confusing and potentially unappetizing, but it is some Japanese sweet potato, roasted Japanese sweet potato, zucchini, and then I have some mushrooms and then I put this tahini sauce with, um, this is my sauce that I make almost every week. It is a bunch of different herbs with olive oil and I just like to put it on literally anything and everything. It tastes so good. 